Hey guys, this is Michal from mdbootstrap.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to take care of your website SEO and that means search engine optimization. As developers we often neglect SEO and this is a cardinal mistake. In a vast majority of projects it is the most important source of website traffic and can be decisive for success or failure. At MDB we know how to do SEO every month. Our website gets about 4 million visits and as much as 89% of this huge traffic comes from Google. Such a great result is only possible if you take your SEO very seriously. SEO is a very broad topic. It takes into account issues such as link building, website optimization or metadata management. In this tutorial we will start with the last issue. That is preparing metadata in such a way that both Google Travels and social media consume our website in the way we want. Thanks to this, they will be able to present it to the users so that is as attractive as possible for them. What exactly are metadata? Metadata describes the content of a given page. We save them as a meta tags and then these meta tags are used by search engines and social media. But enough chatter, let's move on to coding. For this tutorial, I'll be using the MDB5 package, but you can use whatever you want, as MetaTags works in any project that uses HTML. If you also want to use MDB5 package, go to mdbootstrap.com and from the homepage click on these bootstrap icons here, and you will be moved to the MDB5 documentation, click on Get, Get Started button, and MDB5 Download. Unzip the package and open it in your favorite code editor. I am using Visual Studio Code. Open index.html and in the head section you can see we already have a few meta tags. But we need many more to provide uh, necessary information for, for all the services um, uh, and all the social media uh, to provide a proper rendering. To generate all the necessary metadata we will use meta tags generator provided by MDB. Coming back to MDB docs and we can type in the search box meta tags generator and here we are. On the left we see how certain portals will render our website based on the provi provided metadata. So here we have Google search results Open Graph, used by Facebook, LinkedIn and Pinterest, and Twitter. On the right side, we have forms that we need to fill in with our metadata. At the bottom, we can see generated meta tags based on the data we provided. At the beginning, we need to clear this uh, dummy data by clicking button clear data and now we can start providing our own data. So now starting from Google uh, let's um, uh, type, some, type some title this is my awesome title uh, and here we can see now uh, the, uh, the characters limit for every uh, meta tag, so for Google title it's uh, 60 characters maximum, for description is 160 characters maximum, so um, for the description I can type some lorem ipsum, of course you can type whatever you want, and for the site image we need to provide a, a valid URL. So, um, as you can notice, 
uh, in Google search results we don't see an, uh, a provided image but uh, uh, Google users will see it in Google graphics so uh, it's still important to provide this in, uh, URL below we have open graph which is used by Facebook Pinterest and LinkedIn so no the same as above we start with page title and um, with a description and now the image will use the same Uh, one important note: it's often uh, uh, it often happens that uh, you don't want to use the same me metadata for Google and for uh, uh, Facebook, for example, because you, you uh, can uh, run some uh, specific campaigns on Facebook. So you need to provide for some short uh, short period of time completely different metadata, but for in the, in the sake of this tutorial I will provide almost the same metadata but um, uh, be aware it depends on your marketing strategy so URL site name and local so uh, this, uh, this this meta tags is uh, responsible for uh, providing the information about the language used I will use English US and you can see how Facebook will render our page with this metadata we provided. At the end, there is a Twitter. So, and the description, site image, and this is how it will looks on. Google search results, open graphs, graph, Facebook, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and Twitter. And below we have our generated meta tags with metadata we provided. So now we can just copy this and come back to our index.html file. And in the head section, we can remove this existing meta tags and paste the tags we generated. And let's save the file. We can additionally also remove the dummy content now in this HTML file. So we don't need this style and we don't need this content and just for testing uh, I will type here uh, testing meta tags but you can type whatever you want or uh, you don't even need to change anything so now we need to validate if uh, Google Travelers and social media can properly render our project to do so, we need to publish our project to the internet. You can do it um, just by uploading uh, um, the project on your server, if you have one, or you can just use our free tool, MDB Go, which provides a free hosting and um, uh, super fast uh, publishing uh, management. If you don't know what exactly MDB Go is and how to use it, you can follow our previous tutorials and you can find links um, to these tutorials in the descriptions. So I already have MDB Go installed, so I need to, right now just to open the directory where I have unzipped MDB package and um, I need to now open the command line. And now let me just, uh, actually I can rename this to meta tag test this directory
all right and let me copy this path all right I am now inside this directory and to publish um, this project to the internet by using mdbgo I just need to type mdb publish I use npm yes create accept all the questions and you can see it's super fast and it's already available in the in the internet on mdbgo.io and um, the rest of my private address uh, provided by my uh, account on mdbootstrap.com so I will I need to type uh, this uh, in the browser and index HTML because this is the name of the file I, uh, uh, I, I I used and here we are you can see it's available in the internet so now let's validate if um, our meta tags works properly coming back to meta tags generator and here you can find tools uh, to which allows us which allow us to validate our meta data so starting from Facebook let's type address and yes it works this is how Facebook see our website now let's check Twitter and it also works unfortunately there is no no there is no tool for uh, validating mm, in uh, Google search results but now uh, if you provide a proper meta data it will be rendered somehow like this and uh, uh, actually that's it about the meta tags in the next tutorials we will cover another uh, issues related to SEO.